Hello there everybody, it is me Fuser Bunny, and welcome back to episode 93 of Let's Play The Sims 4 Base Game. Alright, this is exactly where we left off, and I have a really funny story for you guys. Before recording this, I was on my computer chair. It's like a swivel chair, you know, um, the one that like you can adjust the height and stuff and it turns around. And I was sitting on it and I hear a crack, and I, I, I ignore the crack, and then like 10 seconds later, it freaking collapses on me i feel so fat i swear i'm not fat but i don't know nothing wrong with being heavy though but i swear though like chairs are supposed to carry like a good weight i'm like how, like how much do i weigh maybe 60 kilograms or something that's not so bad right okay anyway that was <laughs> really funny so i had to grab a chair from the dining room and right now i'm a little bit uncomfortable because i'm not used to it anyway Hopefully I can get it replaced in like a week or something. Alright, so I have been planning on actually calling over uh, Kaylin. Caleb? I keep calling him Kaylin because I have another sim called Kaylin in another Let's Play. So we're going to invite over Caleb and we're going to do what we're planning to do for a while now. And that is to try for baby with him and we're going to see if it works or not so we're gonna go here uh, we're gonna go and actually let's see uh, invite him in he looks like he's sad so all right so we're gonna meet him here which is great cuz I'm gonna lock the door lock door for everyone uh, so let's invite him in and uh, let's go here together if you have that option all right, and we are also going to lock all the other doors as well. So we're pretty much stuck here. Lock door for everyone. Okay, cool beans. All right, so we are stuck in this place for the next goodness knows how many hours. And we're not going to stop until we do one try for baby, okay? So we're, of course, first off, we're going to try to build the... Highest decision being the brains means making the big calls. Which heist should the crew pull next? They could steal a pterodact a pterodactyl bone. Oh my gosh, is that how you spell pterodactyl with a T? Oh my gosh, I I love how I'm figuring this out right now. So this game is somewhat educational somehow so they could steal a pterodactyl bone from an evil scientist hoping to clone an evil dino army or they could dog nap the star of a chonky dog food commercial and hold him for ransom i think that the pterodactyl one is impossible it's kind of like seriously could you really clone a dinosaur there's no dna in fossils fossils are rocks okay there's no dna in, on them um i feel like the dog one would be a more criminal so i'm gonna go for the dog one oops no are you kidding me uh oh well he can uh he's sad now whatever i guess he can mope around no, we're gonna work hard. We're gonna try to increase our work performance. All right, so we're gonna be um, romantic with him try to cheer him up and Oh, uh, why is he sad like this really weird express fondness Romance and uh, compliment his appearance Flirt with him He really is not in the mood hold hands should we invite him to stay the night? I don't think it's necessary because, um, you know, uh, yeah, I don't think it's necessary because he's already here and it's not even nighttime, so. Plus, it doesn't look like the Sims have to worry about transportation at all. Like, I think you'd only invite someone if they live far away or if they are, like, be enticing. Yes. All right. We're getting there. We're definitely getting there. Uh, be enticing is like a booty call. You know, you're insinuating that you want to do something interesting. <laughs> These books are like really weird. All right, is she like being enticing and stuff? Ooh, steamy exchange. Oh, yeah. What sim could say no under these circumstances? All right. So we are going to... 
romance and uh, more choices passionate kiss uh this is really weird because we only get the option to woohoo i don't see the try for baby one oh yes we do okay awesome hell yeah it's the first time literally it's their it's her first time oh my gosh Oh my gosh, I'm I'm gonna be taking so many pictures. Like, do you guys see the apprehension on her face? She's like, hell yeah. And she's like, oh my gosh, I can't believe this is really happening. Oh my gosh. All right. One more picture, one more picture. All right. And I'm gonna let them do their thing. Like, seriously, their faces are amazing. All right, cool beans. I can't let go of the memories, you guys. Okay, this is it. This is their first time. And in the morning, we might even see whether we're pregnant or not. If you take a pregnancy test. Mm -hmm. I'm not so sure if I should call this episode first time or Accidental woohoo, even though there are no accidents in The Sims because everything is under my control. <laughs> I love how sassy I'm saying that. All right, so she's feeling great. She's feeling really dirty as well and really sleepy too. Oh my gosh. Holy moly. These guys are really crazy. All right, so I'm going to unlock some of the doors actually. Unlock everyone. And there we go. Is he going home? I hope he, he better be. Anyway, uh, we're gonna take care of Piper. <laughs> Look at this. Okay, so funny. We literally took over their, um, yeah, their bedroom. So that's why they're sleeping in Piper's bedroom. Oh my gosh, look at this thing. It's grown. A pristine splice plant. Do we have the option to fertilize it? Nope. All right. And uh, I wonder what this is going to be. Hopefully there's no combination or anything. No plants need tending at the moment. Talk to this one. And I'm going to make sure that these guys are also feeling okay. Very nice, nice. Uh, talk to plant and talk to this one as well. All right. Um, okay, you know what, you guys? I think I'm going to go ahead and actually... Uh, you know what? Before I cut, I'm going to send him on his way home. More choices, romance. And I want to kiss him passionately. Okay, let's offer him a rose to signify the the seed that he planted within us. I really hope that she gets pregnant. I know, um, like, you know, single parenthood is a thing. Um, it's like an issue because I've been, okay, so I have a sociology class that I'm taking, right? And I, and my teacher actually recently gave us an assignment to interview a bunch of people about their opinions on um, single parenthood and marriage and things like that. So I think this is, that's probably why I'm bringing this up in the first place. I don't know what, um, but I think it's going to be interesting to see how uh, Phoebe deals with being a single mother. And, you know, maybe in the future we can, um, you know, make the executive decision to marry Caleb as well for the sake of our child or maybe just because we love him you know there, there there's going to be a bunch of difficult decisions that we have to face moving forward but I think that's going to make this couple of parts a little bit more interesting as well uh, so yeah and the reason why I'm not making her marry Caleb right off the bat is because I believe we can only marry one sim uh, once we get a divorce or once we get separated with our spouse, then that's it. We could not marry anyone, which is not cool. Not cool at all. Like in The Sims 3, you can marry, you know, 
um, as many people as you wanted. And I wish that was the thing in The Sims 4 because I had so much fun kind of making my sim like a really, really bad non-commitment sim and stuff. But I don't know. Uh, so anyway, we should really focus on our growth route. So far, so good. These ones couldn't be harvested though, so. All right, uh, these two need to go back to their beds because they have their own bed and they could go and sleep here. And then mom can sleep in her own bed. And once Phoebe is done with her needs, she can go ahead and also sleep. So I'm going to go ahead and actually cut right here. And I will see you guys when um, Malcolm is back from work or when something interesting happens. Okay, guys? All right. That wasn't a long wait. Malcolm is back from work and he earned 2,681 simoleons. I think that's actually a lot less than how we earned... Um, yesterday or yeah yesterday uh so okay i think we also did a good job at work as well um hey okay we did some superb work so that's awesome he is definitely needs a vacation getting away from the grind is the only way to find um some relaxation blah 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 i want to see his moodlets uh, okay, he needs a vacation badly, and he had a stressful work day. Okay, anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and actually let the sim sleep, and I will see you guys in the morning. All right, all right, all righty, guys, we are back, and it is a lovely, weird early morning here in Newcrest. The lighting seems to be a little bit different. Okay, anyway, it's 5.20 a.m. Phoebe just woke up. She has work in a couple of hours, so we're gonna, we're gonna try to make sure that we give her everything that she needs so that she feels good when she gets to work. Okay. She is feeling absolutely m no. This always happens. This always happens. I'm so freaking tired of the Sims walking in bathrooms, locking the doors is like so much effort. Can the game please recognize when Sims are using the toilet, please, so that we don't have to, um be embarrassed and stuff like seriously okay whatever okay she is going to hide from everyone i guess to hopefully do something about her embarrassed moodlet i really don't want her to go to work feeling all crappy and stuff so ugh, so annoyed all right peyton you are going to um do some heavy lifting and you my dear girl it's been a while since you've actually worked out so i'm gonna have you work out as punishment not really but she's gonna work out anyway all right phoebe is mm, she wants to talk to a mirror give yourself a pep talk Okay, did we lessen the effects of this? We really haven't. <laughs> Alright, we are lessening it. Um, call someone on the phone. Okay, we can call Caleb. Chat with him. Come on, girl. You have work in like three hours. We get it. We get it. All right, 14 minutes is okay. Uh, she can go ahead and actually have some breakfast. Uh, open this, and then please don't tell me this is spoiled. Okay, grab a serving of that. And what is this thing? Take, tell a self-deprecating joke. Oh, and I need to pay attention to the plants as well. I'm going to speed through this. It's funny, because I actually don't really speed up my game that much. Because... Um, yeah, I just don't. I like watching my Sims, you know, live their life as it is and stuff. Um, but some players, I remember um, Queen. I'm not sure if you guys are still familiar with her Queen. Uh, bless her soul. I love her so much. Um, she used to do Let's Plays on YouTube. Uh, and then I remember her mentioning in one of her episodes that she could not play the game uh on normal speed which is weird for me because i'm used to um you know playing on normal speed and some people don't play on normal speed at all so it's it's you know it's it's just a lot of people play the game differently and i think that's great all right okay so she's actually feeling really nice 
we can um have her take a actually you know what let's make her go here instead and make a thoughtful take a thoughtful shower and then everyone else can just do what they want Malcolm actually doesn't have work until a couple of days, which is great. Uh, the only person I need to worry about for today is Phoebe. So she needs to hurry up and take that thoughtful shower of her so that when she goes to work, she's going to feel great. All right. And our grow fruits uh, are still waiting for that fertilize option. Oh, uh, let's see here. Fertilize. Nope. <laughs> And uh, this one, fertilize. Okay, so none of our plants need to be fertilized right now. Okay, so whatever. I think mom deserves a bubble bath, actually. So I'm going to give her that really quickly. Once Phoebe is done using this toilet, I'm going to have her take a, take a bubble bath. Okay, my voice is cracking for some strange reason. All right, go here. I wonder what else we can, uh, <clears throat> I wonder what else we can do to make her inspired. Practice, I guess. Uh, you know what? I feel like she might actually know how to use the piano. I'm not sure. Maybe. I'm not sure. But, uh, we really need to use this room a little bit more. Because it's there. Paint on an easel. All right, we have five minutes to go until we have to go to work. Three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Time for work. Get out of here, Phoebe. Get out of here, girl. I am so excited to get her a promotion because I'm literally, like, dying to change her work outfit. Okay, Bella, my dear girl, you can uh, clean up all the dishes. And then once you're done with the toilet, you can, uh, you're going to be on meal duty for today. So we're going to make sure that clean out all the, the bad food that we have when we cook. Um, some, let's see here. I think Frank and beans is great. It makes the Sims gassy though, but Frank fritters are amazing. Like in, in my country, we eat everything with rice. So it's a little bit weird for you. For you guys probably to imagine this but we eat um hot dogs and sausages with rice okay <laughs> that's just how we eat them maybe with some egg on the side yeah okay and piper is feeling great i i missed her actually taking a bath for herself but whatever uh, let's have her go here and like reminisce like oh, I really want to have a grandchild and oh my gosh we t forgot to take a pregnancy test we probably should do that like in another part or something all right so we're gonna take care of all the plants and of course usually we're gonna go ahead and also talk to our crops as well what is Peyton doing Oh my gosh, I'm so scared. Can we upgrade this? What's a coated exterior? Dirt resistant. Okay, actually I want to upgrade all the fireplaces that we have. Because uh, I think it makes the Sims feel a little bit better. Okay, so we're missing... What? What are we missing? Is missing one plumbing. That's really weird. Okay, so you know what? We're not just steal from our dad, like all the other upgrade parts that he has. Give it to Peyton, my dear boy. Okay, this one, that one. We have so many upgrade parts. Okay, cool beans. And then this one, electronic one. Okay, Peyton, let's try to upgrade the fireplace in your dad's bedroom and see how it works. Um, let's do the fire guard first. Uh, all right. Why does our mom... Discussion etiquette. Everyone is raving about the new work by the university's visiting artist. Phoebe may decide to offer the counter opinion that the visiting artist is an 
overinflated hack, or she could go along with a popular consensus that his work changes art as we know it. We're gonna play it safe and go with popular opinion. Yay, we gained some performance. Okay, maybe the right, maybe they're right. Maybe that red square with blue dots is a bold statement about humanity's resilience in the postmodern world. Phoebe decides to say so. The crowd nods quietly. We gained some small performance. Why did mom learn the dancing skill? Like <laughs> when? Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh. You're joking, right? Okay, once Peyton is done, he can repair the dishwasher. But where's the... Where... I... Okay, where's Bella? Bella, where you at? She looks like a total diva. I'm pretty sure I made her cook something. Where is that something that I made her cook? Did she like throw it away or something? Oh, are you kidding me, Bella? Seriously? Okay, whatever. You're gonna make... Okay, let's see here. Let's just serve some sausage and peppers, I guess. Oh my gosh, I'm so hungry. After this, I'm gonna make myself like a cantaloupe smoothie, so watch out me. Alright, so yeah, lots of maintenance that needs to be done in the home. But I guess we've lived here for like a couple of days already, so it's probably like about time. Turn that off. What time does Phoebe get back from work? Uh, she works until 5. Okay, that's a long wait. Uh, and we reached level 3 of the cooking skill. Yay! Uh, you know what, Malcolm? I think you've had enough sleep for today. Go ahead and actually repair this because that's just bothering me. And do we even have the option to upgrade the dishwasher though? Because literally, I believe this is the only dishwasher that we have in the game, so... Yes, for that. All right. You guys hear that? I heard something fishy. Okay. Oh, there it is. Yay. Let's put that in the fridge. All right. And we got some upgrade parts. Yay. Scavenge for parts. And let's throw that away once we're done. And mom can help mop that. All right, Peyton finished installing a fire guard on this fireplace over here, which is great. What's he gonna do? Okay, unpleasant surroundings. Okay, dude, throw this away. And you are going to light up the fireplace. <laughs> That's so cheesy. Okay, she's gonna work hard. And yeah, I'm gonna speed things up here a little bit. All right, Peyton, what's up to my dear boy? You know what? I guess you can just um, be romantic with her make out, because that's okay. Uh, and um, tickle her mercilessly. I want to see that. Where's that option? Propose crazy scheme. Tell a believable story. Okay, so we lost that one option. Okay, this is perfect. I'm not sure whether I love or hate the options that um, can kind of randomize. Oh my gosh, we are in front of our parents. <laughs> okay, interesting. Deep conversation with her, I guess. Okay, mom, you know what? You can join in the party over here, I guess, if you want to. Uh, watch current channel. Alright, you know what, you guys? I think this part has been long enough. So I think I'm going to go ahead and actually wrap this part up right here. In the next part, we're going to find out if Phoebe is indeed pregnant or if that whole accidental woohoo was just a fling. Okay, so anyway, like I said, that is going to be it for this part. Once again, please don't forget to hit that like, favorite, and subscribe button. If you guys had fun watching this video because my voice is breaking, no, I'm kidding, uh, because it really does help out the channel a lot. Okay, you all have an awesome, awesome, awesome day. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time. Bye-bye.